हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट पॉपुलेशन एट्रीब्यूट डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑलवेज आई एम एडवाइजिंग यू डैट वेन एवर यू फेस ए न्यू वर्ड जस्ट चेक इट इज मीनिंग इन डिक्शनरी आर गूगल बट प्रेफरेबली a dictionary that to the standard one which is oxford dictionary so in population characteristic features i will teach you birth and death rates sex ratio population age and population density or population size so beginning with birth and death rates these rates they express change in the number with respect to the individuals of the population change in the number means either increase or decrease and these rates birth rates as well as death rates they refer to per capita per capita means per individual okay not related to that individual which gives birth or dies okay it is a characteristic feature of whole population so per capita every individual will be involved for example if i say that in a population there is 0.2 percent um, birth rate that means that each individual has 0.2 birth rate okay and same is applicable for death rates and how these rates are calculated there is very easy formula okay if i say in a population there are 20 new plants in a population of 100 plants each year there is increase in 20 number so what you have to do simply you have to divide 20 by 100 and you will get birth rate which is 0.2 okay similarly you will do for uh, evaluating death rates if in a population there are five people which die okay and the population size is 100 so what you will do for calculating death rate simply you have to divide 5 by 100 and you will get 0.5 as death rate another is sex ratio we all knew that um, an individual it can be either male or female okay but in a population how we calculate uh, the gender it is by calculating the sex ratio it is given a name sex ratio that means um the number of males and the number of females for example in a, in a population of 1000 individuals there are um, let's say 70 um, men and sorry 700 men and 300 females are women so what will be the sex ratio it will be 700 is to 300 the next characteristic feature is population age in a population uh, there are different individuals that belong to different ages and uh, broadly these ages are divided into stages mainly three stages are there one is pre reproductive other is reproductive and last one is post reproductive in pre reproductive usually the children are considered and in reproductive the young ones and post reproductive it includes only the older people the this representation of population age it is carried out by construction of pyramids age pyramids so if i will ask you what is an age pyramid so the definition will be it's a graphic representation of 
portion of the various age groups of a population okay again i will repeat an age pyramid it is a graphic representation of portion of various age groups of a population like how many uh, individuals are in pre reproductive age and how many in reproductive age and finally how many in post reproductive age usually these pyramids they are of three types one is triangular bell shaped and urn shaped students if you want to see the picture of these three types of pyramid you can follow to your book that is the standard biology book by ncert and open it at page number 227 here it is figure 13.4 and it is labeled as representation of age pyramids for human population okay take a while to observe all the three diagrams and find the difference and uh, moreover keenly observe their shape the first one which is the triangular there is high number of pre reproductive individuals and moderate a number of uh reproductive individuals and post reproductive individuals they are fewer because of the large number of pre reproductive individuals more and more individuals they will enter in reproductive age group so this is a rapidly increasing population the second uh, type of pyramid is bell shaped okay the shape of bell here pre reproductive individuals they are marginally that means very smallly they are small difference okay there is a small difference among the number of individuals of pre reproductive stage and reproductive stage so um, actually pre reproductive individuals they have a bit larger number than reproductive individuals this type of pyramid or population is known as mature or stable as there is no increase or decrease in the size the growth rate it is almost zero then the last one is urn shaped urn is that shape it's a uh, actually the shape of a vase which has a tapper bottom okay so what is happening over here the pre reproductive individuals they are smaller okay then it is followed by large number of reproductive individuals such populations show a decline growth because fewer individuals they will enter in reproductive stage okay got it the last characteristic feature it is population density population density or the size is actual number of individuals there are different ways to calculate population density or population size for example one method is total number another is biomass or percentage cover then relative densities are indirect count so in total number we count all the individuals okay for example in dachi gam uh, national park which is the national park of our area kashmir how many hongols are present over there if i say there are 100 hongols so uh, what will be the population size of hongols in dachi gam national park it will be 10 or 100 whatever i have said another method is biomass or percentage cover you know sometimes it is a very appropriate if we calculate the number of individuals in a area that will lead to 
population dynasty but sometimes it is very difficult okay uh, to calculate the dynasty or population size by simply calculating the number of individuals for example if i say uh, we have 10 plants of uh, brinjal okay but there is a big chenard tree so what will be the size if we calculate only the individuals the size of brinjal will be larger okay but it will be absolutely inappropriate because chenard tree it is very huge so for that we are calculating the biomass the next method is relative dynasty. What is that? When the number of individuals is large. For example, when we culture a bacteria in laboratory, the growth, you know, it is exponential. So, there will be million of um, um, a bacteria in that petri plate. Or let's say, I will give another example. In the pond, how we will calculate the number of fish so, okay there is a method which is known as relative dynasty and the formula for that is total number of individuals of species for example i have said the number of fish so i will write down the number of fish okay then i divide this number but total number of all the species, it will include all the insect and whatever creature will be present in the that pond or that water body. Then this will be multiplied by 100. This is the method for calculating relative dynasty. Again, I will repeat total number of individual of that species say fish divided by total number of individuals of all species including fish frog insects multiply by 100 okay then students the final method is indirect count in this what we are doing we are counting the pug marks or faecal pellets pug mark means the foot marks okay for example if i say how many tigers are present in a century so it will be difficult to watch them and to count them because this uh, animal it is very dangerous for human being so simply scientists they have developed a method uh, that is counting the pug marks and Fecal pellets. Okay, fecal pellets, you know the excreta that by calculating, by counting the fecal pellets, we calculate the dynasty of the population. Thank you students for listening to my lecture. In case you have any doubt regarding this lecture, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com.